Holy shit, guys. You know, it's funny that yesterday I finally got to watch Captain Marvel. Um, and the day, the ne very next day, the very next day, this comes out. Oh, man. Talk about good timing, right? Talk about uh, really good timing. Because uh, this, this was unexpected, but not unwanted. And yeah, so I'm gonna talk about the Avengers Endgame, I guess you could call it final trailer, because I don't know what else you could show without spoiling it at this point. Um, yeah, I really don't, yeah, Marvel, no more trailers, this is the la you know, this is the last in line, because we are now a month away. You can do TV spots using these trailers, but yeah. You don't need to do any more. We're hyped as it is. And this trailer was the final cherry on top for what's needed. Um, anyway. So, um, where do I even start? So the trailer, what I like about it is that it really does, it really did what the Super Bowl trailer did in that, um, everything's grayscaled except for little bits of red here and there. The only thing left is red. And it really showcases the how low of a point the Avengers have gotten in this, you know, after the decimation, which is the name of uh, Thanos' snap. So, after the decimation, the Avengers have really hit a low point. I mean, Tony's still trapped out in space, although I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, there's also, of course, um, what happened with uh, Thor. He has lost mo the vast majority of his people. He lost his kingdom. And now he's lost, you know, entire friends and people he considered to be family. So he's really dealing with that. And Clint, he's, you know, Clint has essentially lost his family. He has lost, um, he has lost everybody. Um, that's a, uh, that's a major law, you know, it's really taking a toll on him mentally. And then we come to Steve, who is still like, yeah, I tell everyone to keep moving on, and I'm guessing what he means is that um, he's, the Avengers have probably, what has probably happened, and I'm not saying this is for certain, but I got a good feeling that this is what happened, is that um, what more than likely happened is that the Avengers have kind of, since a lot of governments have probably, like, uh, been torn apart because they're either dusted or, you know, they're in total disarray at the moment. So the Avengers have probably taken up some of the government pro um, power and kind of be leading these people because if you can't have a government, you know, you got superheroes, so, you know, that's fine. Which is not too far off from a storyline in, a, in a, an Avengers comic that was actually written by Jeff Johns when he was working at Mar for a short time at Marvel. And it's a story called The World Trust, where the governments had been either killed off or, or stolen, and the Avengers were forced to govern the world. And it was kind of this slippery slope of, you know, we're not meant to have this kind of power, and we shouldn't be in power, you know? So that was really, so I thought that was, I think this might be a really cool angle to play with, if all the governments are gone, and now the Avengers, who are just kind of like, well, shit, we shouldn't have this power, and we also have to deal with how we're going to deal with Thanos, because he's still out there. Um, so that's the bit, you know, that's going to be a really cool moment. Where, you know, that might be a really cool thing to do. Again, I don't think that may be the case. I really don't think that may be the case, but you never know. Um, the Among other things we see in this trailer is... Um, just some really dark moments in here. Like, I do love the battle scenes with Cap, um, Nebula, and Ant-Man. Uh, I dug those. It makes me wonder if what's going to happen there. We also see War Machine and Rocket together, you know, hanging out. When by hanging out, I mean, like, they're probably going to blow some shit up big time. And at the final scene of the trailer, we do see... Well, before we get to see the another moment, is uh, Nebula and Tony are back on Earth. So at some point, they do get re rescued or something of that nature. So either they make it back or they get rescued. Uh, who knows? And that's going to be an interesting meetup because Cap and Tony did not meet during any point of Infinity War. So it's going to be an interesting moment for them because a lot of, there's still a lot of, like... Uh, hard stuff between, you know, there's still a lot of, uh, 
bad blood after Civil War, but, you know, the world is being destroyed, you know, the world has been, the universe has been decimated, uh, friends and family are gone, we don't know who's alive and who's dead anymore, it's hard to say, you know, it's hard to say, um, who survived and who didn't, uh, and, you know, like, 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 uh, Bruce said in the movie, you know, in Infinity War, it doesn't matter who you, you know, it doesn't matter who you call, we need to stop Thanos. And that may be, you know, a mantra that Tony holds true to in throughout this trail, you know, throughout this film. Which is officially said to be three hours, which, to which I'm like, bring it on! I can, you know, I can sit through Lord of the Rings, I can sit through, <laughs> I can sit through this. So yeah, Lord of the Rings fans especially are like, yeah, this is no problem. MCU fans are like, I gotta sit through three hours? I wish it was longer. There's a part of me that wishes this movie was longer. So, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with it being like three fucking hours long. Anywho, so, yeah, that was, you know, that's a big moment, you know, that this is going to be just huge, and they're really showing the scale of it. It makes me wonder, since we're only seeing like the first uh, hour of the, tra we're only getting like the first 30, 40 minutes of the film in these trailers, it makes me wonder of how soon are we getting a battle if that's the case, because we did see Nebula, Cap, and, and uh, Ant-Man in those big battle scenes, and it made me go, how soon are we getting into a fight? <laughs> how soon are we getting into a fight with this movie, you know, with this, um, with this film? It just makes me go, uh, okay, holy shit, <laughs> um, how soon are, are we going to run into people? Because it could be the case that, because um, I just realized that there was another member of the Black Order that we didn't see in, um, that we did not see in uh, Avengers, yeah, in Avengers Infinity War. And it didn't cross my mind until today, until today, that there was, you know, that member was Supergiant. And Supergiant was this uh, female member of the Black Order, but she was, during Infinity, during the story arc of Infinity, she was off battling the X-Men. So, it could be the case that Supergiant, who's probably looking for Thanos, or was out on a mission on the Black, o you know, for the Black Order and for Thanos, comes to Earth looking for Thanos, or to kill the Avengers to keep them from hunting Thanos. Um, but again, we don't know if Supergiant is in the movie, um, that could easily be the case. I'm just kind of speculating because I did. I, I totally forgot. Oh yeah, Super Giant was a member of the Black Order. So yeah, maybe we'll. You know, maybe that will be their first big opponent that they'll have to face is Super Giant. Um, but who knows? Maybe she. Maybe she won't be in the movie. Maybe she will. Who knows? Um, anyway. So yeah, I am totally just in for whatever happens next. I am totally down for whatever happens next. This mo It blows my mind that we are now like a month away uh, from this movie. We are now a month away from this movie, and again, ag again, it's very fortunate that I saw Captain Marvel finally, the, you know, the day before this trailer dropped, because there's this great scene where Carol is talking to Thor, and he just th brings Stormbreaker to him. He's like, I like her. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, we all kind of figured that Carol would be uh, be on Earth, but I guess they wanted to wait a little while before, you know, revealing, oh, Captain, you know, Carol Danvers is on Earth now. Yay! And it makes me wonder of what happened to the Skrulls in, uh, that she was helping. You know, it makes me wonder of what happened to Talos and the other Skrulls uh, she was aiding. Oh, right. Forgot. Spoilers. Uh, so maybe they got decimated, and that, you know, that was her first sign of, oh, shit, something's wrong here. Um, that could be the case. And, um, uh, we could still get Secret Invasion, even though in this continuity the scrolls are a little different. Kevin Feige did say that not every scroll shared the same values as the one we saw in Captain Marvel. So, I'm guessing that there's still a chance for Secret Invasion? That could be a case, but, you know, what makes this so amazing, what makes Endgame so great is that we don't know what's going to happen. We have no idea of how this is going to play out. We have no idea of how this film is going to go or where how it's going to, you know, what could be the after effects of it. We do know of Far From Home. Far From Home is going to be like a film set right after Infinity War. 
Uh, apparent, yeah, excuse me, not Infinity War, Endgame. That's going to be the next uh, Endgame, uh, the film post-Endgame, and bring on the new era of Marvel post-Endgame. But other than that, even then, we're still left wondering, you know, what the hell's next. So, yeah, you guys tell us in the comments below, what did you guys think of Avengers Endgame final trailer? Did you guys like it, hate it? Comment below, let us know. I'm DPZ, and, I'm, and I will see you right here in the universe.